Guitar has asked me to explain a couple of the riffs that kind of helped start me as a player. And I can remember a couple, two in particular, that I was just like, like at the early stages of me first starting to play guitar and learn all this metal kind of stuff. Um, I remember one, in my opinion, that was in uh, or the hardest metal riff at the time that I had ever learned. Uh, I think I was in like seventh or eighth grade, middle school, somewhere around there. And I saw Ashes of the Whip, or no, uh, Laid to Rest by Lamb of God on the Comcast metal channels that you could watch like on your direct TV shit or whatever it is. And um, just being mind blown. I had never seen a riff like that, like pretty much ever before. So I didn't learn it, went and looked up tabs and I just couldn't get it down like at all, just trying to play it. And then I remember I went to lunch that day, I had my guitar at school. And I just was sitting there like eating, just literally thinking about the riff, just like nonstop over and over and over and over again. And then when I got back to class later and had like a spare time, I was able to play it like first try. It was kind of weird. So I guess that was like kind of one of the main starting things for me, trying to like mentally visualize riffs. But anyway, this is the riff. <laughs> Uh, it's in a drop tuning, but I had to transpose it because the guitar isn't tuned to that. And the other one in particular, which made me want to get 7 string guitar and uh, 24 frets, was there's this song off of Dream Theater's album called Train of Thought. Uh, the song is called This Dying Soul. And it was essentially a song that made me want to get a 7 string guitar. And when I got my first Petrucci model when I was 14, um, that was the very first thing I learned on that guitar. I played, took like just 10 hours and just like played it all day just trying to memorize this song. And uh, this is one of the main licks of that song that's super cool. 